everyone? I got a uh, FC RX-7 with a LS1 swap and I got the engine and trans mount from CX Racing and um, I didn't want to spend eight nine hundred dollars on uh, I think it's the uh, Jags that run or the Henson um, headers so I got um, on some of the forums and one guy mentioned that he got a set of headers from CX Racing but um, they were meant for a MK3 Supra with the LS1 swap um, and he said they fit fantastic so I decided to give it a shot because they were only like 400 bucks like half the price of some of the other options out there so I'm going to uh, set my camera up and show you how easy they are to slide in what they look like once they're in and then uh, I'll raise the hoist up and show you what kind of clearance we have out back too all right now I'm gonna drop the uh, passenger side one in this one has to come in through the top the driver's side can come in through the bottom or the top but I tried uh, sending this one up through the bottom and it didn't work so <clears throat> It really does slide in fairly easy from the top. It kind of almost falls into place. So. And there it is. So I'm going to bolt it down now and then uh, give you another look at it once it's in here. Alright, so it turns out these headers for Supra LS1 swap do hit this floorboard firewall area ever so slightly. Uh, I had to clearance this area here uh, about an inch or so to make room for the number seven and eight primary tubes. Um, you can see on this side it's kind of loose here but that same area had to clearance it out a bit but no big deal. I mean I'd rather bang the firewall in an inch or so than spend 400 more dollars on something that you probably still have to adjust your firewall for um, but uh, so we're gonna slide the driver's side in and then I'll give you a peek from up top how they look and how they fit slide the driver's side in um, I'll show you how easy it is to get in place then I'll tighten it down and then give you a peek um, at how it fits but what I did is I just put the collector down went in from the top and it literally slides into place that easy. Let me just tighten the bolts down. Alright, here we are back up top. I'm just going to show you how, how they fit in here. I got a piece of wood back behind the cylinder head keep the engine from falling back till I get the transmission cross member in but if you guys uh, gonna be taking your headers off and on get a pair of these header studs from Alper Motorsports they're like 24 bucks well worth it if you guys are gonna be taking them on and off so right there on this uh, number eight primary right down in there is where I had to clearance a little bit probably went a little too far but uh, it will it will rub in a FC but uh, yeah I'm just gonna throw some gaskets on and uh, throw the, the nuts on the studs and move on to the next thing thanks for watching